Hi everybody and welcome to my Smart Home Tour 2021. I know this has been a long anticipated video and I am so pumped to show you guys around. I've been in my new home for about a year and a half now um, and I have loved getting to deck it out with some pretty neat tech. A little bit of a nod to California as I lived there for three years but moved back to Virginia during COVID and I could not be happier with my little tiny home. Let's show you around and get started. The tech really starts outside. We went ahead and installed a Simply Safe video doorbell as well as their smart lock. I also have sensors all around the house. I'm not sponsored by Simply Safe or anything, but let me show you their app real fast because I love the ability to check on my house, make sure everything's okay when I'm not present. I can answer the door. I can take a look at anything that's going on inside. Now, mind you, it mainly is a doggy cam. Um, and then I can also take a peek at my back patio. So I do have three cameras, as I said, a lot of sensors on my all my windows, and the app definitely comes in handy for that front door. I can also create temporary pins for my friends and family. Upon entering, you'll notice quite how tall the ceilings are. I believe these are 22 foot ceilings, so definitely keeps it nice and light and bright. And I want it to keep a lot of the wall space white and then contrast with color as well as black doors and black handrails and just black accents throughout. So pretty open space. It brings you straight into the kitchen here. Does have a cutout so that when you're entertaining, you can still communicate with people who are over there in the dining room area. So I did a soft flip on this home. Uh, things like painting the cabinets, taking out the carpet, replacing it with the wood floor, adding in quite a few tech items that we'll get to here soon. You'll start to notice that in every single room, there is an Amazon Alexa to help with home automation. Something that I did add was a really cool faucet here where you can touch to turn on, touch to turn off, make things super simple, especially if your hands are full, loading and unloading the dishwasher. And here is the main hub for the Simply Safe system. So all of the controls happen from that small hub right there. I feel like this is a Cribs episode here. I really only have drinks in the fridge. I know a lot of people come over and they're like, where's all your food, Marilyn? But I'm not a big cook, <laughs> but I do like to have a nice large fridge. So had a small party, which is why we had a lot of the drinks in there. So this is my downstairs powder bathroom and I just wanted this to scream spa or luxury. We have the dual tones in here with the teal on one side and then we have a peel and stick gold wallpaper. I wanted it to just look really glam but also very serene and calm. Right across the way I do have a downstairs master here. I want it to be very simple, very elegant. As you can see, my vacuum did its job. I so love the Amazon Show 5-inch display on my nightside table. I use it for an alarm clock, nighttime routines, as well as using it for YouTube. I love a wireless charger. I have one in almost every room, which I'll show you a few more when we get upstairs. But I love this one, two, three, four in one device that actually folds down. I bring it when I travel. I do like to keep a very minimal, clean look to my house, as you can tell. 
My closet, in my opinion, is a touch cluttered for my taste. We're gonna add a second shelf so that I can move some of the shoes and the bags up. Shoes and bags are my weakness though. So I wanted my master and my bathroom and walk-in closet to just be a very calming space. Nice large tub and definitely a bit of a Japanese or Asian flair to my master bed. I'm in love with this bed. It is an antique bed that was imported from Italy. I found it when I was in California. Interesting story when I moved, the bed slats were missing. So I did have to reach out to somebody on Etsy to find matching, a matching bed frame essentially for an antique bed. Two sinks here and love nice, simple textured artwork. love having LED strips almost everywhere. I will most likely do a part two of seeing the whole entire house at night because it really does transform. Also another reason why I wanted to keep a lot of the walls white. I did decide to do a dark charcoal gray here in the movie room so that it would at night block out some more of the light. Uh, really adding to the effect there. Here's some built-in wireless chargers to the movie chairs. I knew the first instant I saw these movie chairs that I had to have them. Um, they are designed by the same people who made Porsche seats, so they feel very luxurious. The stitching is gorgeous. Wireless charging with a lot of different seat modes as well as a USB plug if your phone doesn't allow for wireless. Here I'm showing Speaking of LED strips, where I added um, a whole LED strip to the top of the cabinets that did dance to Dua Lipa here. I don't want to have a copyright strike, but I love LED strips. I do have a mesh wireless network, TP-Link, where I do have the hub downstairs in the master, as well as one touch point in the movie room and one here in my office. So as they say, this is where the magic happens. This is my at-home office. I do work from home. I'm a project manager for a software startup. 
and I love this stand sit desk by Fazebo. You can find it on Amazon. It does come in different wood grains and it is a game changer. This is my guest bathroom upstairs. A lot of my best friends that come to visit have put some of their belongings in there. And now this is my studio. It is a little bit constantly in transition. I used to have this futon in there that actually my first year in California, I slept on for about a year trying to save that money. And it's paid off because now I <laughs> have a home all to myself. But I love this room. It's kind of my creative room. I also have a Amazon Fire Stick that I really love so that I can have a couple of Alexas, of course, in every room. Alexa, turn the dining room light to green. So with the help of my smart assistant Alexa, my iDevice switches that allow any outlet to become a smart outlet, as well as my home automation and security with Simply Safe, hey, I can Siri. do things like this. Turn off the hello sign. Understood. Request sent. Alexa, turn the nest to 70 degrees. The AC is set to 70. And you know a smart home is not complete unless you have a smart robot vacuum cleaner. I do have the D-Bot N79. I absolutely love it. Here's a little sneak peek at the app where you're actually able to connect it to your Wi-Fi, start uh, cleaning from anywhere, and it really does the trick. Well, thank you so much for visiting my house. I'll let you lock up behind you using my Simply Safe. I so enjoyed showing my space to you guys, and I really appreciate all of your support. If you have any recommendations for tech or things that you think that I should add to my house, I am definitely open to feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Keep the comments coming, and we'll talk again soon. Bye, everyone. Oh, my God.